In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install a totally free VPN server on your Ubuntu server. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in one of my previous video, I showed you guys how you can install VPN server and that was open VPN access server. So that is one of the VPN server what you can access in the web portal but this one is going to be using with the command line but let me tell you the differences so the open vpn that is paid and you can consider that is like most secure if you're working in a business you should prefer using open vpn but that is not free open vpn access server is free for just two users if you have more than two vpn clients then you will need to buy their licenses but in this PPTP point to point tunneling protocol a VPN server there is no limitation you can create as many users as many clients as you want and it's totally free and open source so if you guys want to learn how we can install VPN server and create users you are at the right place so let's jump to the computer screen all right for the installation of PPTP server I'm going to use this uh, Ubuntu server 22.04 okay so first of all we are going to do the apt update and apt upgrade app let me just change the user to root so I don't need to type sudo every time <laughs> okay apt update Okay, update is completed and it says 68 packages can be upgraded. So we are going to do apt upgrade. Okay, step number three. Now we are going to install PPTP server. For that, the command is apt install PPTPD. So it's PPTPD you can consider as distribution of point-to-point -point tunneling protocol so it's apt install pptpd and then hit enter it says it's gonna take almost 2 mb of additional space that's a lot oh my god okay hit y and then enter and now uh, hopefully it's not gonna take that long because it's just 2 mb okay uh, it says what services should be restarted one to nine restart all of those services no problem okay so the pptp server is installed let's configure okay so in this step we are going to configure the ip addresses the ip address for vpn server and the ip address for the clients for that we are going to open a file the pptp configuration that should be under etc folder so let's type uh, nano etc and then pptp configuration so we are going to set the static address sorry the server address and the addresses for the clients okay so we have to jump to the end of this page and you can see it's commented but we have to uncomment this and we're gonna set the local ip address uh the van ip address of uh, our server because if you're using uh this to become your uh let's say one of the headquarter server and you want to access or want to become the uh, person in the in the LAN area of that network from outside of that network like from different city different country whatever you want so local address should be the van address but this is just a test machine so i'm just using local address but you can use your van address in this one so uh, hold on in my case it's 192.168.222. dot uh what was that 140 or something let me check one more time so it's well yeah 140 okay so it's 140 and for the remote ip addresses uh let's do 
172.16.200.121 let's say 100 IPs 1 to 101 we can say or just 99 IPs uh, that's going to be so IPs will be assigned from 172.16.200.1 and until dot hundred okay and then we are going to save the configuration by pressing control x and then y to confirm okay in the next step we are going to set the dns server names for the clients okay so let's open this file etc ppp and then pptpd options yes okay so the name will be pptpd that's fine and then we need to find the msdns okay so here it is msdns uh, we can set like multiple so i'm gonna set uh one of the google address which is 8.8.8.8 and then 8.8.4.4 control x and save okay so i put in the google dns ips in that one but if you have your dns server you can use that as well okay in the next step we are going to create the users for that we are going to open this file nano hcppp and it's chap secrets so it's mentioning everything here uh with the hash so first is going to be the client and second is server third is secret and fourth is ip address so it's pretty simple so first you're going to type uh the username let's say test and the server it always should be pptpd so i already showed you uh in the dns file the the server name was pptpd so we are using that name here so we don't have to type the ip address every time we create a new client so you can type this and then the secret you can set whatever so i'm just doing test and test one two three four and uh, then you press tab and then for the ip address you're going to type the static so here we have two options either we can assign a static ip address for specific user here or we can type static that means it's going to be assigned from the vpn server itself so what we set in the uh, ip settings so that was 172.16.200.1 and until dot hundred so it could be anything it could be one two or hundred and also uh, i'm going to create another uh, let's say talha one two three four pp dpd and then i'm going to set the password same as this one and here uh, i'm i'm doing one thing i'm going to uh, set a static ip address so let's say 172.16.100.100 so it's a, a different ip address than that pool because that one was 172.16.200 a dot something whatever but for this one it should be 100.100 .100 every time when i connect this user talha1234 okay so i'm just going to save this configuration okay in the next step we are going to configure the firewall to allow uh, the internet access to the vpn clients and for that we are going to open uh, a file nano etsy and that's called sys uh sysctl.config and then we are going to uncomment a line where it says net.ipv4 uh, ip forward one i think this one so you can see uncomment the next line to enable packet forwarding for ipv4 so by doing this we are allowing uh, the users which are going to be connected to this vpn server so they can use the internet and then we are going to save this file and then we are going to apply the changes by typing sysctl space dash p 
okay so you can see it says net ipv4 ip forward is one that means we are good until here okay in the next step we are going to set the rules for the vpn clients so they can be masqueraded from the pptp server in the ubuntu server and i will paste all the commands in the description of this video so you can just simply copy and paste and uh, just change the network addresses uh like this one should be ens33 uh command not found okay so that means the ip table module is not installed so we're going to install that one as well so if we check ipa you can see it's ens33 so this command is like old uh for older version of ubuntu we used to have like eth01 okay so install the ip table here and let me copy this command app install ip table and persistent why to confirm uh save current ipv yes uh ipv6 no because i'm not using ipv6 okay so let's try that again uh up 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 ens3 okay so now you can see it's uh, added and then the next one is going to be this one and then we are going to change this line because we set different addresses so our address was 172.16.200.0 uh, so it's gonna masquerade the whole network but we are going to assign just a hundred ip address Uh, starting from 200.1 uh, dot one to 200.100 dot yes hit enter okay so the rules are set and now we are going to uh, start this ip table service that is net filter persistent save okay these two rules are saved what we created and then we are going to reload it okay so it's reloaded okay in the next step we are going to allow port 1723 and the gre to be allowed into the ubuntu server so we are going to use the uh, firewall of ubuntu server that starts always with ufw allow port this one and then what is wrong apt install ufw so we had to install firewall as well so it was not installed already that's weird <laughs> okay let's try again rules are updated okay we are almost done here now we are going to restart the vpn server and then we will test on our actual uh, computer so the command is system ctl restart pptpd system ctl restart pptpd okay okay let's check the status of this service as well so the server is fine it says active and loaded if the color of uh, the text is uh, white then it shows in the green color it's active so you can see a little bit difference in colors here and this one so it means it is active and running and then we are going to enable this service system ctl enable pptpd okay synchronizing and there is no error and it created the link we are all good okay so i'm trying this on my computer here so i'm going to the network connection network and sharing center and then first let me show you the ip address here uh, you can see it's 100131 for my computer and this is the DNS what I'm getting from uh, my home Wi-Fi router so I'm just going to create a new uh, you can see set up a broadband dial-up or VPN connection here so I'm going to click on this one so first one is for the dial-up connection second one is for the router and the third one is going to be for the VPN okay so it says use my internet connection uh, so in this case it will be connect using the virtual private network connection uh, through the internet or it's going to be 
connect directly to the phone number without going to the internet so these are the two options but i never used this one the one with the phone number so i'm going to use the first one okay so the internet address that was one nine two one six eight uh triple two dot one four zero and we can give it any name like test pp tp vpn and then i'm gonna create this one okay so it's created now every time i will connect it will just go directly to the uh to this server so we can check one more time uh ip address is 192.168.222.14 okay so now i am on my laptop and let's try pinging this address 10.00.196 so we are able to ping that address and now i'm gonna uh go into the settings and then network and sharing center then i will create a new vpn connection and try from this computer and uh, the address is 10.0.0.196 and i'll just name it vpn connection create and then uh, under vpn connection let me connect to this one action needed okay so first i'm going to connect with the test user the password is test one two three four connect okay so it's almost connect connected uh vpn connection and let me show you the ip address here for the test one first you can see it's one seven two sixteen two hundred dot one the series we assigned and now i'm going to disconnect this user and then i will connect the other one uh which was talha1234 and i think it saved the credentials so let's just create a new connection it's okay get a new connection and then i'm going to type here the IP one more time 196 and then VPN connection 2 is created so let's try that one with the second user that was TALHA1234 and password was the same and then OK and it should have a 100.100 .100 IP address as we mentioned in the configuration it's completing the connection all right it's connected the vpn connection too let's go to the settings okay so here you can see it's 172.16.100.100 so that means our vpn service is working perfect 